What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're enjoying the content. We're going up so, so fast, so thank you so much. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, we're doing another perm q and I just want to quickly say sorry for the echo, if there is any. I'm in the bathroom and this is the best lighting I actually have. Until we get lights, proper professional stage lights, I'm going to have to use this room. Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to be answering all your frequently perm related questions that are entered into the comments all the time. So hopefully this video will help you guys out a lot. The first question that is always asked is uh, the rod sizes my hairdresser uses. Now the rod sizes she uses are basically just long, medium and short. That's all you guys need to know. Um, so for the long parts of my hair, so the middle and the fringe, she uses the long rods. Uh, this is to give it a nice natural look. Same with the short rods, she uses it on the sides and the back where it's really short. Um, that gives it another good natural look. And the medium is obviously for the bits in between that are just not long enough for the long rods and short enough for the short rods. Oh, and guys, I thought I would just quickly add um, a lot of comments have been saying about the colours of the rods and what colours mean. It's kind of irrelevant. Um, basically, obviously, they do mean the size, but depending on what you ask for, either tight or loose perm, your hairdresser slash barber, they'll know exactly what colours to use. Cause now another question is how long your hair needs to be. So basically your hair doesn't actually need to be that long. Um, I say that it has to be 4 to 5 inches. If you think that's long, that's long, but I don't think it's that long. It's about there, as you can tell if I pull my hair down. This perm gets cut just before it's permed. So yeah, just about there should be perfect for the length of your hair before you get it permed. Also, you lot always ask how long you need to wait before you can wash your hair after getting it permed. Now the solution that your hairdresser or barber will put into your hair, it needs to settle. And yes, they give you 15 minutes and then rinse it out, but it also needs to settle longer. So make sure you do not wash it out for 48 hours. This is two days, if you did want me to tell you that in a different context. Two days, do not wash your hair. On the second day, maybe even third, I waited three just to be sure, but you don't actually have to wait three days. I was just very super superstitious, super, like conscious. As you can see in my hands, a lot of you also ask how, what I wash my hair with. Now this is, these are both Tresemme. It's the same thing I use to style my hair after washing it, which is a Tresemme mousse. But um, yeah, Tresemme shampoo, Tresemme conditioner. You can actually use any shampoo and conditioner. I use this because it leaves my hair nice and soft. I just like it soft. <laughs> because I like my hair soft, I wash my hair every single day. Every morning I wash my hair, maybe even after work, if I get too sweaty, but I don't really wash my hair twice. It's, it's mostly just once a day. I do recommend not to wash your hair twice a day. Um, it's actually quite bad for your scalp. You can get dry skin coming from your head, um, which is dandruff. But um, luckily I don't get that, I don't think. If you are like me and you like to be fully clean, wash your hair twice, uh, once a day. Ah. Can you get rid of your perm? So this is another commonly asked question. The short answer is I don't know. But I have some tips that you can use to actually get rid of it uh, if you don't like it on yourself. Obviously, one option, you can straight, straighten your hair. Um, your mum, your sister, anything like that, you should have straighteners in the house. If you don't, there's probably another way you can straighten. Um, but yeah, that's probably the best tip I can give you. Just straighten your hair and hope the curls come out um, as you go along. Another way, shave your head. If you want to shave your head because um, you don't like it that much, just go ahead and do it. It doesn't matter. There's not many ways you can get rid of it, I don't think. Um, you can also get another haircut. If you get another haircut, obviously it'll get rid of the curls, but obviously it will leave you with short hair because when you get a perm, they obviously try and perm all your head. Um, so yeah, if you are gonna get a haircut because you don't like your perm, just know you're gonna be left with short hair. Most obviously, the final tip I can give you is to wear a hat. If you don't like it that much, just wear a hat for three months and it will go away after that. You'll be absolutely fine. Have I got a loose or tight perm? So I actually get a tight perm. So I get a f number one on the sides and it fades in. So as you can tell, my hair up here is actually longer than here. So I get one there, keep that semi long. So it fades into the perm and it looks so natural. Like I actually got a compliment at work from an old lady saying she really liked my perm. I told her it wasn't natural and she went, no, don't tell anyone. She th thought it was natural straight away. So that's actually a really good compliment. It made me feel really, really good about myself. 
But yeah, that's why I get this sort of style. I think a lot of people think it's a loose perm because obviously it looks loose the further it goes in. So I've actually had it for about, what, four, no, just three weeks, almost four weeks now. And as you can tell, it's got looser. Um, but yeah, all, I recommend to always get a tight perm because if you're going to get a loose one, it will become loose anyway after a month. Um, so yeah, it's worth it if you want to keep it for longer. Now don't take my word for this one guys, literally it changes everywhere. I mean some people have been telling me that perms around their area can cost up to £50, £45, even £20. Mine is in between that, it's £35 for my perm, which is very reasonable. Um, some places obviously charge more, some people places charge less. Some people even get it for free if you have a hairdresser in your family. So. I can't tell you a very good indication of how much it's going to cost because it can cost anywhere between probably about 20 to 50 pounds. But I say that 20 to 50 pounds is a reasonable price. Pushing 60, but anywhere above that, probably trying to find somewhere else. It depends if you have a lot of money or not. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Got to make it look good. What products do I use in my hair? So I actually use shampoo. Not shampoo. What am I on about? Obviously shampoo and conditioner for when I shower, but to keep it together and nice and tight, I actually haven't got it in today, and it probably looks like I have, but I've shown it before, I'll show it again, just for you guys to know. Some of my colleagues at work tell me that they use this, and they recommend it. They, I've got a mate, and he said it, it was good. He actually wore it today. You know who you are, but um, he said it's actually really good, so trust me, if you want your hair to stick, get this one. Uh, they also do obviously four and five control, so this is the third control one as you can tell by the bubbles and the number. Um, but the higher the control, the stronger it is, the lower the control, the lesser it is. So depending if you have thick hair, you probably need a higher, stronger one. If you have very thin hair, you probably just need a little bit. Um, I go for three because obviously my hair's just fine, so it's thick but thin. Um, to top this off, I actually do use hairspray now and again. Millie's got me hairspray, it doesn't matter which one you use. You can use got to be, you can use, um, what's the other one? VO2, I think it is. Tell me if I'm wrong. You can use any hairspray as long as it just sticks it all together, it's fine. You guys should know what hairspray is good. If you don't ask a girl that you know is around you, they know what hairspray is good. But just get a hairspray, put it in after that's dried up a little bit, you'll be fine for the whole day. How long does the process take? Now the process can take quite, oh, it doesn't, it changes, I guess. It doesn't change massively, but once it's taken an hour and a half, second time it's taken two hours. Uh, it depends, you know, how long the cut lasts. So if you have long hair, it's gonna last longer. If you have short hair that's already working with the perm, it's gonna take less time, basically. And this is just for the fact that they're gonna have to cut your hair, wash it, put perm solution and the um, neutralizer, so solution neutralizer, they take about 15 to 20 minutes each. It combines all together, so it does take quite long. Uh, minimum about an hour, I would say, but the minimum I've ever had is an hour and a half. Another frequently asked question, guys, is how long does a perm last? Now, depending on what sort of perm you have, if you get a loose perm, it's probably gonna last a little less time. The reason for this is because You've got looser curls, it's gonna make it quicker for it to drop out. Another factor to it is that how fast your hair grows. So if it grows at a fast rate and you have naturally straight hair, your straight hair is gonna outgrow the curls and it's gonna last a short amount of time. So I can't really put a number on how long it lasts. It should last between two to four months, depending on your sort of hair. But for me, the longest my perms ever last is probably about three months, but this is, does include two haircuts. Um, if you get a haircut after your perm's overgrown, you'll still have curls that are, were attached to the roots at first. They'll start rising to the top, so when you get your haircut, they'll be at the top and you'll still have your perm look. So that may, just make sure when you get your haircut, your perm will still be there. Make sure you have about two, and it should last about three months easily. Okay guys, so the last question it isn't that frequently asked, but I thought I'd add it just in case you guys want to know. So it's, do, would I recommend a perm? And to be honest, it was a really nice change. Uh, I've had straight hair all my life and it did get really boring. So having a perm makes you look after yourself way more. Like It makes you, when you first have it, you're like, oh God, I need to do this, I need to do that. You need to stay on top of it or it just gets out of control. So um, 
yeah, it was a really nice change. I would proper, properly recommend it, especially how Millie and my family kept on giving me compliments about it. It, made, it, it sort of uh, made me happier as a person, I think, for a while. So yeah, I would recommend it. Okay, guys, I really do hope I've answered all your questions that were frequently asked. Um, please, if you do have any questions I missed out, leave them down in the comments. I reply to all of the comments. Also, while you're down there, look at the description and follow me on Instagram. It is down in the description below. Make sure you like the video because you lot have been liking my videos so much recently. Uh, you've also been leaving a lot of comments, so I won't say leave a comment because I know you will. Finally, and most importantly, please carry on subscribing. We're gaining easily about six a day average, I'm going to say. Um, so I'm really happy with that. I want to thank you all so, so much for that. We're doing so well. Carry on making the family bigger. And yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.